Well, I've been a little slack on updating on the uh, FJ8A since we got it back together. I have run six or seven trips on it. Can't remember exactly. Thing runs like a top, but I'm having heating problems. It uh, running up around 200 degrees on the t uh, water temperature. I started out with electric fan and uh, electric fan wasn't worth a flip. It wouldn't keep it cool and wouldn't half run because uh, the kit I got came with a circuit breaker like this one right here. But every time it run a minute or two, the circuit breaker got hot and started tripping out. And I didn't realize that until I'd already gone to town and I bought this flex radiator right here that uh, running it off of the belt and at the same time I put it on I put an electric fan in front of the radiator so that I got two fans I'm trying to keep it cool and it's still running up there pretty good but uh, last trip I discovered that if I raised the hood up about that much the thing cooled right on down it was forcing all that hot air out from under however I do have another problem in that the uh, radiator has some rust in it so what I'm going to do is try to clean this rust out of it and see if that'll help keep it a little cooler. I have been watching several of these uh, car shows on TV. There's a fella on there advertising tobacco rust. He's actually the president of the company, I think. And uh, he's come up the last two or three months of showing uh, some st stuff to be clean out radiators with. It's called Thermocure. And this is a bottle of it right here. And the uh, directions are drain, cool it, add one quart of Thermocure, and fill with water. Drive the vehicle for three to four hours up to several days for extensive rust. You may drive the car normally during this period. Drain the cooling system and flush twice with water and refill with high quality coolant mixed to manufacturer specifications with water. Do not use in freezing temperatures. So it also says on here, Evaporust Thermocure uses the latest technology in rust and corrosion removal to totally revitalize automotive cooling systems. Thermocure removes rust scale and deposits from radiators, water pumps, water jackets, engine blocks, and heads. Rust and corrosion act as an insulator and cause vehicles to overheat. This product restores the engine's ability to transfer heat to the coolant, allowing engines to run cooler and last longer. So, I have been looking for this stuff for several weeks, and the Evaporust itself is sold by Walmart. O'Reilly's, Advanced Store, all all in parts stores. 
but the thermo cure was not available anywhere. I even went into O'Reilly's and tried to look it up in the store and there's no, they don't have any way of getting a hold of it. But finally I broke bed and went on Amazon and there it was. So I ordered a quart of it. That was Sunday. This is Tuesday, it got here today, so this cooling system just has straight water in it, so I'm just going to drain it down, put the thermo cure in it, and uh, fill it back up with water, and I'm going to run it for a couple of days and see how it does, see if it does help any. And I'll be updating you later on it. Okay, I've took the overflow jug off and rinsed it out till I'm getting clear water out of it. Took a drain plug out of this thing and uh, see if we can see down in there. Uh, it's kind of hard to see that rust, but there's a good coating of it in there. And that was a brand new radiator when I first put this thing on the road. So, got the drain plug back in it. So we're going to put the thermo cure in and fill it up with water. Like I say, I'm going to run it for a day or two. See what happens. This stuff... According to the label, it's made in Arkansas. That's a good thing. That's USA and that's South too. as tight as I am. We're going to put a little water in the jug. Shake it up and rinse it out. Because what's left in the jug ain't worth a flip if you're going to throw the jug away. believe in using everything I pay for. Well, we'll give her another rinse. Pretty much clear water now, except for a few little suds.
foam would go down, we'd be in good shape. see it or not but this stuff is tainting a little bit from the rust look at it there just a all kinds of red color to it Okay. Fill this old flow jug up too. It was so bad that uh, you got this pipe here on it uh, right there. And it's sitting about two inches from the bottom of the jug. And uh, I had about two inches worth of rust in that jug when I rebuilt the motor. So go ahead and add a little more water to it. Well, we'll find out what the stuff does. We'll be back with you at a later date to let you know what's going on. Talk to you later. Bye. Well, it's been about six days since I put this stuff in this thing. And uh, look at there. All the rust about it's gone off of that. And the... Uh, Inside that radiator is looking pretty good. So we're going to drain the coolant out of it or the stuff that's in it. If I can get a bucket under it. Try to catch it. Stuff's supposed to be safe, actually. Let out on the ground because this uh, thing didn't have any antifreeze in it, so it ought to just be pure water. But we'll be back with you as soon as I get it drained. Okay, right there is what the radiator looks like after having just dropped all the stuff out of it. And right there is what come out of it missing what went on the ground but the direction says to flush it twice but I'm thinking about doing it three times get all of it out of can 
I will be back with you shortly. Okay, this is the drainings from the first rinse. So we'll pour that in with the other and then we'll see what the second rinse looks like. Okay, this is the second drain in the, the second rinse draining from it. And that's the original kind of a whole lot thicker in that than it is in this. The, uh, Shaking around, you almost see through this a little bit. So, I'm uh, running the third through it now. Be back with you shortly. Well, there's the water out of the third rinse. This is a whole lot clearer and almost see through it. So, we're going to go ahead and put the cooling in it now and see what happens. And, uh, Right there is the interior of the radiator now. It's a whole lot better looking than it was. I had some light as it would help matters, but like I say, everything looks a whole lot better now. We'll talk to you later. Bye.